it's time to unbox another retro book and this time we have a title that was funded through Unbound if you're not familiar with Unbound it's a crowdfunding site that works in a similar way to Kickstarter authors put their project up on Unbound and it gets the approval and then they run a campaign to raise funds you can get perks including signed copies and ultimately even meeting the author themselves. So I'll open up the package and find inside we have Virtual Cities by Konstantinos Dimopoulos, illustrated by Mamir Kaikirki. An atlas of exploration of video game cities. So Konstantinos has a PhD in urban planning and this is a guide to video game cities. So as you can see, we have the signature. The dedication. And that was an exploration of video game cities. So Konstantinos has actually consulted on creating game cities and he also does a regular article in Warframe magazine, I've written for that for myself, on the subject of planning and building video game cities. That article there in the current issue, issue 44, talks about planning a space station. So, Looking at the contents, we have an introduction, fantasy cities, familiar cities and future cities, acknowledgements, a note on the author illustration, and supporters. So here's the introduction. Fantasy cities, Anchester from Ant Attack. Design insights. Might be a little hard to see that one, but that's the map. Dundarak from the game with the same name. Woodtick, Monkey Island 2. Managed to knock the camera over there. So there's the map of Woodtick. Rubicaba, Grim Fandango. Shows it's beautifully illustrated with these excellent maps. The City from Thief the Dark Project, brilliant game. Sigil from Planescape Torment. And so you can see it's talking about how the city designs relate to real world cities and how it's used in the game. Cocktown from The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Quite a compact city, but so much happening. Oregua from World of Warcraft. London from Fallen London. You can see the familiar shape of the Thames there. Andrew Londo from Dark Souls. White Run from The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. So as you can see, huge maps of text. Dunwall from Dishonored. Beautiful illustrations, and these maps are really. Well done. Yiranam from Bloodborne. Another grad, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. And of course, many of these cities act as a hub where you can find adventures or a key part of the adventure. Nekataka, Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire. That looks like a, almost a Tolkien in the illustration. So then, familiar cities. These are more modern ones, perhaps inspired <coughs> excuse me, by Real City. Metro City from Final Fight. Lizard Breath from It Came From The Desert. Under Attack by Giant Ants. New Orleans from Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Father. 
Full side, Earthbound, aka Mother 2. So a lot of these are inspired by real cities, but may not be a real city. Raccoon City from Resident Evil 2. Obviously I went back to that recently. Silent Hill. Which has streets named after famous horror authors and filmmakers. One of my favourites in that is actually Backman Street, referring to Stephen King's Adis, Richard Backman. One Chai from Shenmo 2. Olympic City from Need for Speed Underground. It's an interesting choice. Priapat from Stalker called Priapat. Arkham City from Gotham. Arkham, of course, being heavily based on New York. Steelport, Saint Troy the Third. Kamarachu, Yakuza Zero. I've not played any Yakuza games, that seem to be a lot of fun. London, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which covers a huge area. Milton from The Long Dark. New Donk City, Super Mario Odyssey, a more recent title. Anytown, USA, from zero degrees north, zero degrees west. Seaside Valley, Bus Simulator 18. New Britannia, Lamplate City. And then Future Cities. Rockville from A Mind Forever Voyaging. Terrapolis from BAT, interesting game from Ubisoft. Union City, Beneath a Still Sky, obviously, from that cyberpunk effort. Epic and revisited recently Beyond the Skill Steel Sky. Midgar from Final Fantasy VII, another game that's been revisited. Mega Primus XCOM Apocalypse. Dust in the City from the StarCraft series. New York City and Deus Ex. City 17 from Half Life 2, which of course has that incredible building, the Spire. Hanging over the city. Citadel from the Mass Effect trilogy. And at the time of recording, they've just announced a new Mass Effect game is being programmed. So Citadel split into five wards. New Vegas from Fallout New Vegas. Post apocalyptic look at Las Vegas, Nevada. Propast Europolis from June Fall Chapters. Hong Kong in Shadowrun Hong Kong, another cyberpunk game. And acknowledgements, a note on the offer, an illustrator. And much like many Kickstarter projects, we have a list of the backers. And I'm going to be on this page here. Andrew Fisher up here. As you can see, quite a few people back this. So, there we have virtual cities. Virtual cities are places of often fractured geographies, impossible physics, outrageous assumptions, and almost untamed imaginations given digital structure. This book, the first atlas of its kind, aims to explore, map, study, explore, and celebrate them, to imagine what they would be like in reality, to paint a lasting picture of their domes, arches, and walls. From metropolitan sci-fi open worlds and medieval fantasy towns to contemporary cities and glimpses of gothic horror. Or for an urban banner, Constantinus Demopoulos and virtual artist Maria Kalakai brought to life have brought to life over 40 game cities. Together they have documented the deep and exhilarating history of iconic gaming landscapes through richly illustrated commentary and analysis. Transports us into these imaginary worlds through cities that span nearly four decades of digital history across literary and gaming genres. And many more worlds to discover, each formed in the deepest corners of the imagination. Their immense beauty and a complexity. Astounding for artists, game designers, world builders, and above all, anyone who plays and cares about video games. So, as I say, that was funded through Unbound. It officially launches November the 10th, 2020. I'm really looking forward to reading through this and looking at all the beautiful pages. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and keep watching for more retro unboxings.